So today's review is on the Pearl Zumi Pro Barrier Jacket. Essentially just a lightweight rain jacket that uh, also blocks the wind. And yeah, just my personal review on it. So to start, um, essentially wanted a lightweight jacket for if it was raining or if it was kind of chilly, essentially commuting uh, to work, if I was gonna ride in when it's uh, warm out and ride home uh, later in the evening when it was colder out, just wanted something lightweight to throw on and keep myself warm. Um, this is the second rain jacket that I've owned. The first one essentially just got way too hot and overheated underneath of it all the time. Um, kind of just got to the point that didn't understand why people wore rain jackets because you sweat so much underneath them. But one of the biggest things I like about this one is it's actually vented. So they don't necessarily say that it's waterproof. Um, it's just water resistant. And I have ridden in the rain a few times with this jacket. Um, typically just use it for a extra layer when it's cold out. Um, but yeah, so uh, I guess first of all, um, I am 6'1 and 185 pounds. I actually have to check my measurements again. So my chest is 104 centimeters. My waist is 91 centimeters and my hips are 102 centimeters. So with that being said, I went with a large jersey. Um, essentially just all the jerseys that I've wore from Pearl Zumi, which I do like how they fit for how cheap they are. Um, yeah, uh, always wore large and have uh, decided to do a large jacket. I do really like this. Um, I liked it a little bit more than I thought I was going to. Um, do still overheat if I'm doing a uh, hard effort or anything underneath of it. It's definitely one of the jackets that just kind of gotta get used to and figure out exactly when it is perfect for yourself. Um, me, like I said, if I know I'm not going to do a hard effort, I will wear it to stay warm. Um, and my experiences in the rain are, it is definitely not waterproof. It definitely soaks through, but my biggest thing that I like about it and I've learned to like about it is that essentially no matter what in rain jackets, I, um, get sweaty and or rain just goes through but the biggest thing is I rather the rain soak through rather than pour sweat because one my body is actually retaining more water and not getting dehydrated but it keeps all the grit and grime that gets thrown up on you off which is actually be, become my favorite thing about it and having the zipper on the bottom side too so this is definitely a make or break it for me on jackets uh, and vests. So decided to get this one. One thing that Pearl I know does, mainly probably just because most of my tops are Pearl, um, is they bunch up, the zipper bunches up in the center, or in the front, but obviously in the center. And essentially when I do it, I have to roll it down so most of it is down at my waist. Um, we'll get up in a second to show you kind of the spin around of it, but, um, do really like this jacket. Uh, I am actually doing this review right before I send it in for warranty though, because there are starting to be runs in the wrist and I have only had this jacket for four months and I've been wearing it a lot, but not every ride nearly, probably only about 50% of my rides, if that. And on both wrists, there are certain uh, 
have runs in them and personally I know everything gets uh, wear and tear but I don't think after four months it should be doing this so I'm going to send it in and see what they are uh, willing to do for me. So um, yeah anyhow did call and the woman is very polite and said to just send it in so we'll see what that does. So yeah the walk around of it like I said, this one's a large and I'm 6'1", 185 pounds. Don't know if that's in kilos. I think it's like 86 kilos. Not quite sure. I have to look that up again, but yeah. So, do really like this jacket. Kind of wish it was a little bit more slim fit, but um, do like it. Uh, like I said, the zipper on the bottom is uh, make it or break it for me because most of the time I always just zip it all the way up and then unzip it from the bottom to let it uh, air in. Do like it. It gives me room for putting stuff in my jersey so on longer rides can store a bunch of stuff in there as well as it has a gripper on the bottom so when you essentially pull it down underneath your pockets that it actually stays still but it's not super tight on the bottom which is nice um, sleeves are long enough typically you will tuck them into my gloves if I'm wearing gloves with it and yeah just like this as a basically do it all type of lightweight jacket um, yeah, if you guys have any questions let me know and I will get back to you. There's what it looks like when standing up. Um, essentially just the view on it, like I said, um, measurements, and I chose to do the large. Don't necessarily know if I would do a medium if I ordered it again. I would think about it, but essentially how it looks on their website, I feel like this one fits me pretty much how they say it should. Um, personally, I wouldn't mind having it a little bit more snug, but yeah, do like it and definitely recommend it for you if you like um, or if you want a lightweight rain jacket. Like I said, if this didn't have pulls or didn't have runs in the wrist, I would not be sending it to warranty. I do like it. Um, I am considering, if they send me a new one, I am considering selling it and trying out a different company, um, just due to the fact of how quick this one had the runs in the wrist, but at the same time, it's not um, making it not function at all, so why not just keep wearing it? I don't know. Tomato, tomato. But uh, if they just send me back this one, I will keep wearing it until it's uh, not rideable anymore. So, yeah. Thank you guys for checking this out. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, we'll have more reviews coming to you in the future. So, see you guys next time.